Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Heideman here. Today we are working on lesson six and our learning objectives are how to estimate the length to the nearest inch, how to measure and draw line segments using inches, and how to draw congruent line segments. And we'll be talking about that vocabulary more in depth today. So people use different tools, maybe depending on your profession, what you do um, for work or what you do at home. So we have many different types of tools that we use. We might use a hammer for building something. We might use a scale to help us uh, know how much we weigh, maybe at the doctor's office or at home. We might use a thermometer to tell our body temperature to, or how hot or cold it is outside. Maybe when you're cooking at home, you might use measuring spoons to know how much liquid to put into something you're baking. And then maybe measuring tape to decide how big a rug is. That's another tool. Today, being mathematicians, we are going to use the tool called a ruler. Normally, mathematicians or students would use rulers when measuring uh, something, wanting to know the length that's, you know, around a foot, maybe less than a foot, so less than 12 inches. We use yardsticks or meter sticks when we're trying to measure something that is more than a foot. Okay, we might use the measuring tape to measure something that is more than a yardstick or a meter stick, which is about three feet. So lots of different tools to use. But again, today we're using the ruler. So in your packet, you should have received lesson worksheet six. And as you can see, we have a lot of different lines on here. Well, three different lines. So we're going to use our ruler to measure those line segments. And a line segment is a line, but it doesn't go on forever. It has a starting point and an ending point. So you can see the line segments that are already drawn. Uh, we have a start point and an end point, okay? So usually in class, we have a ruler, maybe a wooden ruler or a plastic ruler, but you can see that it starts at zero and we have inches on one side. And then on the flip side, it has centimeters on the other. But today, just for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use about a half uh, of a foot, so six inches. Now, it's important when measuring a line segment to start where the zero's at. So I'm gonna place this ruler and we see that it starts at the zero and ends at the three. And again, we're using the inch side. So I can say that this line segment is three inches. And we'll be talking about the three different ways to write three inches in class. Now I'm going to draw a congruent, so same size, same shape, uh, line segment. So I'm gonna make sure I'm holding my ruler nice and straight, nice and sturdy, and then I'm gonna start at the zero and stop at the three. I wanna make sure that my line segment has a start point and an end point. Good. So you can go ahead and do that on your page. Pause the video if you need to. Next, I'm going to measure this second line segment. Start at the zero, and I notice that the line stops at the five. So I know that this line segment is five inches, okay? Five inches. Now, these two line segments that we just drew are horizontal lines. And we've gone over horizontal, vertical, and oblique or diagonal, right? So again, this one is horizontal. So starting at the zero, going all the way to the five, I get my five inch congruent line segment. So it's the same as the line that um, I just measured same length, same size. So the third line segment you can see is not horizontal. It's not really vertical either. 
it's diagonal or oblique. So I'm going to have to turn my ruler a little bit tilted um, in order to measure this line segment correctly. So I did get two inches. Now it's my turn to draw a congruent line segment that is two inches as well. So at that angle, starting at the zero, I'm going to make my straight-ish line, um, make it as straight as you can, holding on to that ruler nice and steady. All right, we'll be going over side A of your lesson worksheet today. And for fun, you can take your ruler and measure things around the house if you want. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.